there, and welcome to another episode of Narnia Home and Garden. I'm your host, Mrs. Beaver, and today I will be showing you how to make marmalade rolls. Let's begin. The first step is to preheat your oven to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Now our first ingredient will be almost two and one third cups of flour. I say almost because the original recipe was written in the British metric system and converting it over it didn't quite come out to exactly two and one third cups. Dump your flour into a bowl and proceed to add one teaspoon of baking powder. Grab yourself a pinch of salt. Now take your butter or margarine, dump in two tablespoons. You'll want to mix this in, or as the recipe says, rub it in until it looks like breadcrumbs. The end result should look something like this. After you've gotten your flour into a breadcrumb sort of looking mixture, take your sugar and add four and a half tablespoons of it. mixed in your sugar, the recipe calls for approximately one half to two thirds cup of milk. It's approximate because you want to make sure that the dough is nice and firm and so therefore the amount of milk will vary. I will start off with a half a cup of milk and I will add it in gradually, stirring as I go. This episode of Narnia Home and Garden has been brought to you by Professor Kirk's handcrafted interdimensional teleportation devices. Order now. As you can see, the mixture is still very dry, so I will be adding in some more milk. As you can see, got a rather good stiff dough going on here. I think that should be satisfactory for this recipe. Now take your good stiff dough and roll it out into a rectangle. Now the next step is to spread your marmalade over your dough. Unfortunately, I have run out of marmalade as uh, trade routes with the White Witch in control is kind of iffy nowadays. I do, however, have some raspberry jam. This should work just as well. Just spread it over evenly over your dough. Not too thick, but not too thin either. So now that you have spread your marmalade, or in this case, jam, what you'll want to do is roll it from the long side over to the other. It is take a sharp knife and cut along the roll in approximately one inch segments. Once you've done that, just take a muffin tin and place them in sideways. Doing this will help them maintain their shape 
while baking. You'll want to pop them into your preheated oven for approximately 10 to 15 minutes. So as you can see, these are not very hard to make. They are perfect for tea no matter who you've got over, be it Badger or a son of Adam or daughter of Eve. I've included the recipe in the description box down below, where I've also included a more complex recipe if you'd like to try that one out. I'm Mrs. Beaver with Narnia Home and Garden. Thank you for watching. Merry Christmas and long live Asa.